What is going on everybody? Welcome over here to Lone Cruise TV. I want to say thank you so much to my friends over at Raycon for sponsoring this video today. We might be going and plucking some things. But first, I want to give a shout out to my boy Flair for being the most exotic man I know. I'm dancing alone inside of here. It's kind of strange as a 30-year-old man. Got that off. Well, got that son of a gun off. What the heck? Got it off. It was kind of, it was kind of jammed up on there. But the other day I went out and I kind of rigged this thing up. Uh, well, kind of. Yeah, you guys saw I rigged this thing up. But today we're going to be, gosh, that smells pretty, you can smell it right in here. We're going to be using this, but I got to go pick up something else first. But I wanted to drop this off just for a second to kind of get her kind of charged up. Definitely you're going to have to put some uh, fuel in there as well. I didn't remember that. There's a little bit of water back there. I should, uh, just... update. That was stupid. That was, that was whatever. That was, that was dumb. Why would I do that? Why would you do that inside? You guys ever do something and then realize, why would you do that inside? But it is concrete, it's just gonna dry up real quick. Should I do it? Yeah, it's just good full send because it's almost done. Actually, I'm gonna hold on to this because if I don't hold on to this, I'll forget to put the plug back in. We won't have some major issues. But I came up here to charge this son of a gun and I need to find, it doesn't have an on-bank charger. So I need to find, we got a trickle charger somewhere. I don't know where it's at though. What is this? I don't remember that. All right, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. And we are charging 50% so far. So that's good. We needed it then. I will tell you guys this. This thing did rip through some fuel yesterday. I guess these jet 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 engines, they really, uh, jet drives, they really do rip through some fuel. They don't really get going very much. I, I don't want to say I'm right or I'm wrong or the exact numbers, but I think if you run a 40 with a jet drive, I think it's like the equivalent of 20. When it comes to the amount of horsepower that's putting out, we do have a jet drive coming here. Uh, we, well, that's in the future, you guys will see. We have one coming. I don't remember, I think it may have an 80 on it, an 80. I requested a, a boat with, with, with a jet drive engine for, for certain kind of projects, like going down in the rivers in Austin and, and boat fishing, and we can film like certain kind of things. So I think an 80 would put it at 40, which I, this boat is having a hard time yesterday. I'm not saying it's a bad boat or anything. It just had a hard time yesterday even getting on a plane with two people. Even I put Cam in the very front of the boat and said, hey, let's just try this to sit up there. And it wasn't really working. Maybe maybe that's not enough oomph for this size of boat. I, have, I really have no idea. Okay, enough of that being said. I've got to go do something real quick. And I want to bring you guys along because it's going to be somewhat of an awkward experience for me. Yeah. Ah. Quick little update on this little journey. That's not going to, that is not going to happen. I'm going to be completely blunt with you guys. There's a long line to get in. And uh, I'm not gonna wait that line. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna wait that line. I'm not gonna wait in that line. That's not gonna happen. I brought a mask. If that makes any of you guys feel any better. I know some of you guys, well, some states are required to wear masks. It doesn't look like anybody inside of this line to get inside of this. I'm actually at Cabela's right now. Even has a uh, has a mask. But look at this. That is the line, and that is not gonna happen for me. So essentially, I just drove all the way down here. Well. I'm not gonna say for no reason, but yeah, I ripped through some gas for no reason. The boat needed to be charged up just a tad bit. But uh, if you were wondering, if you're gonna go to Cabela's and or Bass Pro, they're limiting the amount of people they allow to go inside. I was just coming here to buy a, uh, a new uh, boat fishing setup, like a compound boat fishing setup. But you know what? We're just gonna roll with what I got for now. As you guys know, it's it worked yesterday to a certain extent. I pretty much ended up only making a little bit of turtle food out of this stuff, so. Okay, I'm gonna hop off here now. God, I look like a potato. I look like an absolute potato with no hair. Well, let's see what we got going on here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is it at 100%? It's at 75. This one I care a little bit about because I'm pretty positive it's, it's the trolling motor one. Not too concerned about the cranking, but all right, we'll let that sit there for a sec. You know what I am going to bring today because I don't know what's going on. I know I shot this last one into the, into the mud. But I do need a set of pliers. That's for sure going to happen. And I also believe I need to grab, I know this is going to sound real silly because it's boat fishing, but I believe I'm going to grab one of these nets over here because yesterday I had two come off directly next to the boat because I tried to lift them, lift them out and they're kind of soft. Anyway, I'm going to grab an arrow because, or a, a net, because sometimes when I was trying to pull them out yesterday, um, well, it didn't really pan out and the arrow just came out and no fish came with them. So I'm going to grab one of these, these nets that we have over here. I'm just going to grab one of these. I know it sounds a little goofy, but... I'm gonna do it to it, lemon peasies. I'm in a pretty good mood today, if you guys cannot tell. Hope you guys are in a good mood as well. 
Look at this. I waited till about uh, two ish. I guess what time is it? It's two thirty three right now. I waited till later in the day because the sun's coming out. And this is pretty much what I was kind of hoping for is to have a little bit of sun to be able to see these these old fish before we go stick them in the forehead, hopefully right in the dome piece. There's been a lot of people I've noticed that have been catfishing here and coming here with with jet drives, but today is packed. I mean, it is packed packed. Cops giving out tickets. People are actually doing their little social distancing down here, just fishing. That's good. It's always good to get the kids out, right? We got them all down there, everywhere. We're out here again, baby. Well, I just called you baby. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I was talking to you. <laughs> All right, well, we got this going. I know he never knows if I'm talking to him or to the camera because it's it's kind of awkward. Oh, shoot, look what we got going on here. I got a little bit of a mess. Hope you guys are excited for today because I am. Yesterday we got kind of, well, had a little bit of issues, slight issues. <laughs> But today's going to be a different story. I've got uh, brought the crossbow back out. I really do like this thing. Kind of started to figure it out yesterday. So if I if I don't do well out the gate, let's go ahead and just be kind and gentle in the comments because we all know I'm not the best, I'm not the best at some things in life, and shooting is one of them. Which I guess I should, probably should be pretty decent at shooting, but I'm not. Okay, a little crustacean there. Probably need to get that off. All right. Well, now it's time. In this lake, though predominantly i've only killed a lot of buffalo i have killed some common carp but not not a lot and like i said yesterday i mainly just pass up gar because they're actually kind of hard to hit they're really only like that big and they're kind of it's kind of pointless unless i see a fat gar oh is that one i think there's one right here yeah that is one there's one swimming right here oh there's a big glare over the top over the top over the top i wish there was one i could just push a button and the damn thing just came back and then that thing just swings around about to castrate myself you know what I mean? Wouldn't that suck? That thing just goes, bam, castrate myself. Shit. All right, good start. Missed, missed the first one. Missed the first one. Make sure we're not, we're not having a crazy dangle fest. All right, let's do this again. Man, if there's anything I've loved more, it's actually people ripping through on their on their sea dews. It's the best. It really it really helps me being able to see. I mean, if you did you know that they actually have the entire lake to run? Yeah, sea dewers they can go anywhere in the lake. It's just it's a crazy fact. Look at this. Thank you. I'm taking a different approach today. I'm coming in and just looking real quick. Instead of really using the troll motor, I'll use it to get in real quick and then I'll just float because they're we got a little better conditions today than we had yesterday. Yeah, look, this person literally just went to the back of the pocket just to race out. Oh, oh god. Oh, Trolling motor kind of had his life of its own there. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna have to open up the door. What do you got back there, Cam? Uh, I got to get the gap. I'm gonna just grab that a little bit right there. I'm just eight. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Avery? Playing with the car. Well, this video kind of started off originally me trying to butt fish. But guess what, I suck at that. So we're gonna move over to something I uh, I know how to do fairly well. Well, I feel like I know how to do fairly well. I brought the big one out today, and we brought the little one out today. I have, I have a, I don't, I, I, ha, I uh, don't really have an exact plan, but we're gonna figure it out. I'm hungry. So I never even told you guys, I'm back up at Toby's. I pretty much live here now. I've, I've pretty much made myself his third child. He's the best roommate ever. Yeah. Super cool. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go try to find some pigs, just cause. I feel like I'm tactical Terry right now. I'm ready to go, I got a nice shirt on. So before we get too far in the video, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it over to my, uh, myself in a previous life. We'll talk about the sponsor of this video. I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, all right, all right. So you guys know this video is sponsored by Raycon. I have been using these things for quite a long time now. These are the Everyday E25s. You guys can see they come in this nice little rechargeable case. You see that right there, you pop them out. Little magnetized, boom, in there. The reason why I like these so much because they fit inside of your ear. They're custom fitted. Like they come with a, a little, a little metal, like credit card type deal, and it has different size attachments. Like this little rubber thing right here. It has different ones, so it's customized fit to your ear. Hey, that's a huge deal. I'm actually gonna play a clip for you guys from the last two runs I've done over the last week. Eight miles in what? 55 minutes. 55 minutes and 55 seconds. Still stuck in here. I'm. I'm out of breath, give me a sec. Update number dose on the eight miles. 
What are we at? 50, what does it say? 54, son of a gun. Who's 54 some change? We knocked like a minute and a half off. Still, you need these in your life. Holy 100%, if you guys get a bunch of sweat worked up and that kind of thing, these are the ticket. These are the ticket, ticket. So crazy little fact about this little case, it will charge these earbuds four whole times. Four whole times, it'll charge the earbuds on one charge within this little, little carrying case, which is pretty awesome. So Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of other premium wireless earbud brands, and they sound just as amazing as every other top audio brand out there. So if you guys are looking to snag one of these pair of earbuds, you guys can go to buyraycon.com forward slash Lunkers TV to save 15% off your order. That is right, go to buyraycon.com forward slash Lunkers TV to save you 15% off your order. I'll also link them at the very top of the description. I wanna say thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Let's go back and do some whatever we're doing. So um, we're gonna go in hot, and hot. when when we get in here, it's gonna be super thick, and so uh, we're gonna pop up on. Oh, you see? I see him. Can you see the eagles up there? There's one sitting on the branch. Check out the. You see, and there's two in the nest right now too. Sorry, I just no, you're getting get we'll, overexcited. We'll, I'll tell you what. Let's. I want to explain what we're doing when we get out of the side by side. That's quite a bit. All right, so Rob and I are gonna go into the swampy area that's super dense. Um, Rob, we're gonna go in hot because. Mm -hmm. When we jump these, we're going to be right in the middle of them. And uh, we'll just practice proper muzzle awareness, <laughs> right? Um, one of the things, especially for camera cameraman, is that we're going to be following a lot of trails that are the pig trails. And if they disperse, get off the trail. Um, those pigs, whenever they're scared, will they'll follow the path of least resistance, which is going to be a trail, and they'll get you. Um, but uh, we'll see. This might be pretty exciting. Did it a couple days ago and got on some good ones. Let's see what we can do. Ow. Which way we go? You tell me, Scott. That looks good. Yeah. So it's Rob, a little hungover, walking back for water. We smell the pig, so we'll see if we can actually get one. What's Gabe doing? Is he done? He's cutting shooting lines. You guys see? Is he, is he almost done? Oh. Let me go set up. Oh, yeah. I don't think he should rifle that far. Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is 110% like a, a southern version of an Oklahoma elk hunt. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Holy shit, what the hell did I just say there? What the fuck did I just say? That's not right. I didn't mean to say that. Okay, since today the pig hunt wasn't that good, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you guys to uh, Toby's. Well, he's got this layer down here. Oh, the wrong one. He's got a random table. This is like an episode of Cribs. He never comes down here, but he's got a nice shining armor stuff. Actually, that's not a nice That's a nice That's the. Uh, a night fall of the History Channel. That's actually from the show. That's from the show? Yeah, that's from oh. the show. The guy that made those for the show said that to me. Are you kidding me? No, that's straight up. The Nightfall show. I didn't realize that they were all made of the woods. Okay, so this is what we came down here to show you guys. All of his ducks. Those aren't ducks, are they? Yeah, some of them. Those are. This room is Toby's large version of what I have. Toby, Toby's is a lot wider in many ways. That's what she said. Ah. Let's look at what he's got. Why wouldn't you want to just look at that? Do you ever even use shoot this thing? No. Have I shot it? Yeah. No, it's never been shot. You didn't shot Okay. Some of them have. Them. I like this one. Some of them wall decorations kind of. Toby's kind of like me. He buys stuff if he gets a deal on them and then just sits here. This has definitely been shot. You shot this? I've not. You haven't shot this yet? Why haven't you shot this? Um, we can shoot it today if you want to. 
I don't think I've ever shot one of these before. I heard they suck. They might. They look super cool. They <laughs> look cool. <laughs> it's like something off Halo. No, I heard that the. Uh, I don't know if it's these ones though. They'll actually jam, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's not the actual P90s. It might be the the knockoff ones. Yeah. Those uh, those little rounds. There you go. Because I know the round that comes in, it, it literally comes through and it turns and it yeah, goes you down. Can, you can put some in there, can't you? Yeah, I've never shot a P90. I don't even know how to load this son of a. To be honest with you. So that's uh, for everybody that says that he didn't kill 14,066 doves in one day. In your face. <laughs> they gave me a plate. That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. You got that loaded. I don't know. I kind of like looking at Toby's stuff in here. This is really nice. I've got that one of those at the house. What's going on with the hand thing? Uh, there's a tick on the finger. Yeah, yeah that's a your tick. first tick. Hey, you good, bro. Go. Well, the cam was freaking out. Now, now I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna have takes all over me. <laughs> why? So I, why did you buy ten of these? Kind of an investment. Built them and that way, and it looks really cool. And if a zombie apocalypse happens, <laughs> that's the reason I put the little biohazard stickers on there. So I always imagine like the zombies coming, and then all your buddies come down here, like in Wolverines, that shit, and you're handing them guns. That would be pretty cool. Either that, or you wait until they appreciate value and sell them. That sounds more like a Toby thing. That's a little 12 gauge shotgun, that bullpup. This thing? That's a Pender 12 gauge shotgun. You ever shot this? I have not. You have not shot this either. <laughs> and look, it's, it has both like. Oh wow, what the hell? Yeah, you can do it back there. <laughs> oh, that's the. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. You haven't shot this either, all right. All right, so, is this, is, is this it? That's Emily's other one, yeah. How much was this one? Like 14 grand or something. Did she ever shoot this? Yes, she is probably a better shot than I am. Long range. <laughs> oh, don't worry, it's only fourteen thousand dollars. <laughs> so if there was something in my life I'd probably spend some money on, it would be a nice rifle like this. But fourteen K is quite, quite the thing. She's left-handed. She is left-handed. God dang. Yeah. What the hell? So this is a fourteen thousand dollar rifle. And mm -hmm. what makes it fourteen thousand dollars? Um, quality of the rifle. I mean, you can build rifles that shoot just as straight, obviously, for a lot less, but. Um, it's all carbon fiber. Gunworks is a great company out of, uh, I think they're like Utah or Montana or something like that. Is this carbon fiber? Is yeah. that everything? Okay. Yeah. So basically we could shoot like five rounds today and that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if we get a bunch. <laughs> Jeez, are you kidding me? No, so this round, that 6.5 PRC, um, those rounds are actually made specifically to those guns. And then we have a laser finder that is actually made specifically, it's like calibrated for the round to the gun and like measures all kinds of like barometric pressure and stuff. It's pretty wild. I, mean, there's me I have no idea how to use it. Shoving everything into the wall. I like this, I like your setups. Well, if there's anything you want to strive to be in your life, it's probably Tommy Thomas. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> It's pretty interesting. I like, I like this thing. That's pretty cool. This is cool. That awesome. This is cool. I like this a lot, Toby. Ah, I see why. I was like, why am I getting hit in the chest? Oh, it comes from below. It ejects from the, the bottom. Yeah. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> I like this a lot. Now I want one. I don't even, the thought of beer right now makes me want to throw up. Sure, whatever you guys say, how far is it? Yonder, I'm down from yonder. Whatever. Yeah, it's, it's far. You got your... Yeah, no, the, the Bonos have them in it. Oh, you laser it. You know how it works. You just push the button. Yeah. Push the button oh, to the measure on there. there. You go. Thank oh, you. Can't see. Yeah. He said he's leaving those with the target. Oh, mm. nice. Thanks, Rob. Mm -hmm. Santa Rob. Santa Rob, I'm here for you guys. Six fifteen. Cool. So so, make, look, you can make you can get another one out there at like four hundred, yeah. three twenty five, five something, six, yeah. seven, mm -hmm. eight, twelve. It'd be golden. Yeah. I actually did have some spikes. Oh. That's it. Done. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and set this up. We actually got the phone scope for you guys today. I don't know the exact range. We only have a couple targets out there. I put one of these smaller ones uh, just to see. This is a Gunworks rifle. I've never shot one. This is, uh, what do you say, $13,000 or $14,000? Yeah, 
Uh, 14. 14,000. This is a 14,000 dollar setup right here. I would assume it's fully carbon fiber on the barrel. I do love me some bolt action stuff. It's a six and a half PRC. I've also never shot a six and a half PRC. One of my favorite calibers is six and a half. This is going to be a little bit different. Let me actually grab one of my my six and a half. So maybe you guys can see. If, I don't even know if there's any real difference because I've never shot one of these rounds. Let's go take a gander. So it is actually a bit fatter. So there's a six and a half PRC on the left, and then this is the normal one that I shoot the six and a half Creedmoor on the right. So it is going to be a fatter round. That's what she said. Oh my. I like to drop, it. drop it down to the four. Drop it down to four? Yeah. On that high? Well, I just want to, let's just try it. Out. Okay. That, that was low. low. Just low. That's nice. Five might make sense. I think that range must have been way off because I'm around the same as. That would be low. So, damn, that makes sense. It's 550. I was I was ranged I was I was dialed for 625 out the gate. Just the right side of it, but you're God, right on it. Is it really going right that much? That one did. I mean, but you barely missed it. Hit it. Dead center. Yeah. Hit dead center. Maybe top left, barely. It's below it. Yeah. See, that's that's how fast you shoot normally. That's good. I'm fine with that. Okay, so we're sitting at 550. I just want to use another one now. I have fuel all over me. That's low. Huh? You just barely missed it. It was low though, right? Yeah, it was low. Yeah. Just the right side. Wow. Just right under the... Is it there. still low? Just I mean, a couple of inches. God yeah. damn it. How are you low? Still low to the right. How the are you low? You're consistent. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I've dialed up that much. Was it low? I didn't see that round impact on Low. Low? Probably 15 spot. inches. So it's the same thing. So it's the same right. spot. I'm going to dial up to 700 and just see. Yeah, but you're hitting right. Like I'm watching, I'm watching Trace and come it's, in it's and it's going. going right. So it's in the exact same. That's a hit. Okay, so I, I held off one mil to the left. And I'm dialed at seven. And that was probably direct. Yeah, it was a good shot, yeah. It was good. I'm just kind of wondering. Like, why it's doing that. I mean, hit it again. All right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. So now you just need to remember. Yeah. Seven's your 550. Yeah. Then I held off one. Do you want to shoot it now? No, it's, it's fine. I, I, I think you're good. You also have a, like a quarter value wind coming out of the left. I actually enjoy this side more than shooting. The mass side of it? No, I, li uh, I like I like spotting. spotting. Uh, shooting is, you can teach a monkey to shoot. Obviously. Ha! Not talking about you. <laughs> there you go. 